what's up guys welcome back welcome to a separate course and today we're going to go to the great old us again back in america baby we're going to go to sonoma and we're in this trans am legends pack and the car we're going to drive is the mustang boss 302 now this thing is an absolute pretty huge it feels like a boat to drive and i've just come out of it front wheel drive very focused touring car from Croft. Now I've jumped into this thing and oh my god it feels like a big heavy lazy just <laughs> but great fun at the same time. The, the rear has just want to step out left right and centre and you've got to break about a mile before the corner. <laughs> that doesn't matter you know it's all part of the fun. But this is the Trans Am Legends pack. I will leave a link for the page where you can get all of it. This is from Bazaar and his crew. Some of the quality of these cars aren't the best if you want if I'm being honest with you. The drive fantastic and all that they really do. Just some of the cars lack a little bit of quality, like some of the textures are a little bit dodgy. But bar that it's still a great, great mob, it's a great pack of cars. Just listen to them man. Sounds like thunder. It's like Zeus is calling. <laughs> right, what we'll do now as usual. We'll check out the mother on this Mustang, but oh, we've got a little bit of contact there. <laughs> it's all kicking off. Hey, what we'll do now is we'll check out the model of this car. Right then, guys, there it is. The Mustang Boss 302. Now, this has got 470 brake horsepower. It weighs about 1.3 ton, so it's about 1,300 kilograms, a little bit more maybe. Now, I love muscle cars, it's just got muscle written all over it, hasn't it? That lovely orange as well. I've just realised as well, but it must be an old Ford day of the day, because I've just been driving the Ford Focus ST at Croft. Now, I don't know which way they're going to get uploaded, it doesn't really matter, but I don't want to keep this here too long, so we'll quickly check out the blueprints. This is from Bazan and his crew. Bazan, I think it's Dr. Doom's lab. Now, it's quite an old mod, this as well, but it doesn't matter. It's still great fun to drive. Let's quickly check out the interior now this is the only car without like a race interior as well the rest of the cars are all stripped out and they've got like a proper race interior for some reason this one hasn't got a four speed manual gearbox it's nice to have a clutch pedal if i'm being honest with you but yeah guys just a quick check on the model i don't i don't want to keep, keep you here too long we're going to sonoma put your sim belts on next time i see you it'll be at the track Right then, we've got five red lights. Give it a rev. Ah, oh, juicy! That sounds like a beast. Right, the reds are up. I did the first gear we will do. About six laps at Sonoma we'll do. Oh, maybe we'll capitalise on a few little places of the score. But it's taken quite a bit of adjustment for me to adjust to this car. Just when it feels so heavy. Everything's just like in slow motion, like a big lazy. And like, I don't know, like... It feels nice and adjustable on the throttle though, I'll give it that. You've just got to break about a mile before the corner. You've just got to process your brain, like, all differently. It would be, I'll tell you what would be, like, a funny experiment. Go and fly this, or an F1 car first, and come to see, come and drive this. Then you really will appreciate it, how performance orientated than F1 cars. Oh, so just light the wheel up there. <laughs> just light them up. <laughs> just an absolute beast but that sound that engine just sounds angry it just it sounds like it wants to chop your head off Man. you can see the car rotate on the bottom there oh yes yes sir that felt great you should have decent heat on the tires nice and ready on the brakes see you've got to use first gear a lot as well but using first gear the way you do feels a bit weird to me yeah but there yeah, on the car into second gear but this Sonoma circuit is actually one of my favourite American circuits. If I had to pick one, this is definitely my top three. I'd say this, Road Atlanta, and then Daytona is my favourite. Just the engine modes that this thing is churning out is just absolutely fantastic. We will do a quiet lap on say lap five or so. But I'm finding it hard to just, just keep up in the way. Right on the brakes, then you break that throttle. Really got to blip the front wall a little bit of a lot up there. Right, on the power, see the car rotating as I get on the power nice today. There. Like, like I scared the car with the bottle just at the right point, like the last point in the turn, so to say. This bit, look, it just pulled in. 
pull that front end bait. <laughs> Eventually it did. Bam! Just an angry monster. 473 horsepower. It is a lot, but in, in modern gear terms it's not really a lot. When like, the base for Audi's have got over 800 horsepower now. This thing's quite heavy as well, so it's not really fast, but it's all about just how fun it is to drive. Like, muscle cars are fun. Like, where I'm from in England, you don't get muscle cars at all now. Sometimes I see like modern Mustangs on the road and they just look so like imposing. They just look great, if I'm being honest with you. Come and slip up the inside, flip that bottle, that, get the front end of the bike there, the bike's there, I've done the power. There, then I'm steering the car with the bottle, all the way around there, on the power, up the inside, in the third, oh nice. Yeah, but muscle cars are just so much fun to drive. One of my favourite type of cars to drive in the sim, if I'm being honest with you. Just because of how adjustable you are on the throttle. Like my style of driving, a lot of it is. On the throttle, I like to be able to like, balance the car on the power on the way out of the corner. I think that's why I like EMS 2 so much because the style of driving on nearly all the cars on that are very oversteering orientated, so to say. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but it's, <laughs> it's just so much fun. When, especially when you start getting the best out of the car, when you start to like learn how it feels, you know, like maybe I'm far from getting the best out of this car, but on the power, like watch what feeling. Yeah, like stab the button at the end of it, man. Just see we have come down nicely. <laughs> Four speed manual gearbox as well. But oh, this bit's good then, because you lift and then pull it in and wait for the front to bite, and there it just starts to bite right at the end of it. End of the corner, so to say, in the set. I'm gonna have to drop it first, actually. Oh, see there. A little bit of overscale when I didn't want it there. <laughs> You've just got to be so on your toes when you're driving these things. On your toes, on the limit, on everything. Oh, there. When the power band kicks in, the car just sounds glorious. There, right, stab the bottom. There, you can see the up come down. Just Oh yes, I manipulated the car exactly the way I wanted it here. Oh, a little bit of understeer action. I'm going to slide up the inside. Nah, not yet. Oh, I'm understeering wide, I'm understeering wide. Oh, we were so lucky there. You could see the car just understeering off and it just didn't want to bite into the, into the track. Oh, Jackie, she's a fight at this one. <laughs> but we made the new stick. Flip that front up. <laughs> what? Wow, like let's try, I'll try and be smooth, but that's, it's so hard to be smooth and fast because it just makes you want to drive like a wally. <laughs> Quite intimidating, actually, in a way. I bet you these things in real life on British roads, especially, would just be horrible to drive because they don't handle that all good, I mean. In, in America, most of the roads, it's like a grid system, what is usually there, so really just straight roads and traffic lights. Unless you live in like somewhere in the mountains, somewhere like that, but on the side up the up the inside, let's be brave. Nah, 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 nah. Oh sorry mate. Oh no, sorry, that was terrible. That was bad. I am sorry, I do apologise for that. Never mind, watch out and the barn it's about. Looks like the sun's went behind a cloud as well. Oh there it is, it's come back out. And lift and then pull it in. Rip the pot into second. I feel like the tyres are starting to come up the temperature now. I, I do feel like I've got a lot more bite. Because when the tyres were cold, it really did feel really, really sketchy, if I'm being honest with you. But I just love how aggressive this thing sounds. It really does. Oh, on the next lap, I'll totally shut up and we'll have a proper listen to this engine. I'm not making many places up. I've got the eye on 97% as well, what I normally hear, Sapphire. Every track and every car is different. Some, some, some cars I'm, I'm fast in. But mainly it's not me, it's the eyes will go up the inside. Oh, Jackie. Oh, bloody hell's bells. <laughs> that was pretty well. That was great, wasn't it? On the power as smoothly as possible. Feel it in, feel it in. I'm going to focus the on it. On the end of the corner. So oh, it's good point to light them wheels up. It's so easy to light the wheels up in the years. Might be a little too easy if I'm being honest. Yeah, look, I'm just stab the pot to steer the car, get the car to come round. Oh, oh my god, did you hear that, man? 
Wow! Over til dagen kom vi så i dagen med. Det er til mærkelige kugler og kubitur i vognmanden. I'm not going to click. I'm not super cleaned up on muscle cars. I'm all the main ones like the Mustangs and stuff like that, the Chevys I suppose. But I don't know, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what Mike will turn it. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But anyway, side of the inside maybe. Flip that for Oh, little lock up as well. Right, on the power now, I'm on the power now. Feeling in, feeling in, and flat now, flat. Intersecting, ha oh, You made it stick, in the fifth. Right then guys, let's have a quiet one. Be merge. in a lot of Bazaar's cars, if I'm being honest with you, all of his mods drive great, every single, I, I haven't got a bad way to say about any of them, I really haven't, let's see if we can just match this Mustang in the first grip of the bottle, oh a little bit of a lock up here, a little bit of a choke on the tyres, on the power, in the setting, I don't really use the three gears, mainly on here, quite a bit of understeer there, but then kill that with the power straight away, right, let's try leaving it in setting, get it in, right, I'm going to feed the bottle and get, Right, I'm on the power so early already, right, but see, look how much faster you are when you, when you do take your time and be smooth. Just so much quicker, but this car's not about that. This car doesn't want to be driven smooth. It wants to be driven by, like, driven potty, so to say. Oh, I need to miss the apex there, but it's just so much fun to stab the bottle on the way out the corners. It's so hard not to do it, if I'm being honest. <laughs> really? For some reason we're on the podium as well, we're in third position. I don't know how that's happened. <laughs> I'll take it though. Two right for that. A couple more laps and we might have won this pretty race. In the third part, oh, I've got to change down there a little bit on this gap. At the end of the corner. On the brakes nice and early. Oh, please. Oh, there's me talking how good the brakes are and I go and do that. <laughs> Touch kick. <laughs> what a great fun car this one. This is six laps maybe. I always say this maybe we should put more on but it doesn't matter. Right guys, let's check out the replay. Right then guys, that was six laps in the Mustang Boss 302. And yes, I showed it who was boss. The fan that showed this thing who was boss. <laughs> What a nutty car this is. All of these cars drive, all drive pretty similar if I'm being honest with you. Everyone, they all feel pretty the same. Not everyone, but mostly. 
but it's just listen to these things man just these the, these engines as well they're like seven litre naturally aspirated v8 like seven litres it's like probably seven fiestas so to say in one engine but the way american engines work it's like a lazy lump we use a cross plane engine not a cross is it cross plane oh, i'm getting all mixed up now where Ferrari, yeah, I think it's a cross plane where Ferrari, like a Ferrari uses like a flat plane for green right there. I probably going to go back and forth, but never mind. What I love about these muscle cars as well is how adjustable they are on the bottom. You can chuck it into the corner and just like, I always say, like stab it. And you can just ride it out on the bottom, so to say. But that's not the way to be fast. If anything, that's a bit, that's how it's slow. Because I'm sort of drifting in a way. The way you want to be fast is how I showed you on that last lap when we are coming out and overtook the Mustang. It would be nice and progressive, but like very smooth, like feel it out, so to say. But yeah, guys, what I'll do is I'll leave you with like say one more lap this race. Thank you so much for watching, and I love you and leave you. Peace from the Northeast. Toodles.